All right, how's it going? I know I'm a little late this week. As I've said, we've got a lot going on with the move and everything um, and the new job. So a lot of stuff interfering with my routine a little bit. But we are here. We are on cycle six, starting on purgatory. This is going to be the first time I've shared with you my attempts at doing snow globing on Anakin. That is the technique where you're using Hand of God and Winter's Bite to basically slow Anakin down, slowly take his damage down while you deal with the monks. Um, I'm not going to promise anything. I'm going to post this whether or not I survive that or not. Um, but oftentimes in the past, I just go and burn him down. But I don't have the arrows to do that. I've got the arrows to do the snow globing. So we're going to um, we're going to give that a try and see how it works out for us. I've done it a few times on lower levels, not on the higher ones. So if I die, I'm going to go ahead and post this anyway. Uh, and then I'll keep posting my attempts to deal with Anakin on this on this cycle. Okay. All right. Well, let's get down to it. Got to get to him first. Uh, we're sitting at 2.7 mil. That's all I got to say about that. All right. Full health. Uh, three quarters of a quiver of cat fives. I have my full hand of God. I have full winner's bite and I have an empty quiver of tempest, which we will replace with something that will be helpful. All right. As I said, we're sitting on 2.7 mil. Um, basically the most important thing is to be careful, not overdraw things. Don't take stupid damage. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to do a face pull. Hopefully on just the night. No, we got the we got two monks as well. They're, they're being very aggressive, so we're gonna. I'm gonna go up on the roof. Um. I don't think the monks have come to us yet. I don't want to do. There we go. So I, I want to. And they're already firing. Okay, be careful of the hatchets. My primary interest was getting rid of the monk. We can take these guys out pretty easily from up here. Just make sure you dodge the ha hatchets. Alright, one left. I gotta say, considering how early I am in the the cycle, my headshot targeting is pretty good. Okay, I just want to try to loosen up my my controller a little bit so I'm not over. Okay, so we got that. We got one hit on that guy. Let's see if we can continue our good shooting. Okay, we're gonna we're going to. Um, Keep lighter sighting the one guy in the back while we take out this guy. And we'll just pick off things as they come to us. The main goal is not to be targeted by multiple monks and using line of sight to keep them from firing at us. So we've actually done pretty well clearing out this room so far. Pestilence. I'm just curious whether or not that's a pit or not, and it is not. So we're going to be aggressive here. Focus on the monks first. See if we can take all these guys out. Now he's line of sight, it's, so it's not a lot we can do with him just yet. Okay, see, that? see how quickly that arrow was flying? The brown monks 
in early stages are, are pretty easy to deal with. They're slow, the arrows come slowly, but as they progress, they become very, very difficult to deal with. They shoot fast, they recover fast, the arrows travel fast. So he's line of sighted. Nice. Always happy if, if I if I can just get one head shot on each guy. Okay, so we'll go now follow this track to the right. Now I'm gonna go over here because I didn't wanna see if we can take out this monk from a distance. We got a holy light. And we'll line sight him while we deal with the knight. Yeah, he would, he would stay line of sighted for a little bit. Yeah, he's given up. So now we'll just get in his face. We have two monks down here. So if you have a charging a knight charging at you, don't hesitate to shoot him in the knee. Shoot him in the knee, it'll stagger him. And he'll stop and you just take him out. Shoot him in the knee, make him stop, and then headshot him. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Alright, so I'm a little worried about that courtyard there. Oh, hi. Alright, got a couple of bloods hanging around. Those are always nice to have in your back pocket. All right, so the courtyard is not we know it's not a pit courtyard so we don't have to worry about the ghosts so what i do is what i just did is take out these these monks here and then i can use this space kind of as a staging area keep line of sighting the monks they will continue to They will continue to keep trying. Okay, we're going to move to the other side of the corridor. We were getting pinned by those knights in there, so. Stagger the monk. Don't let him shoot at you. Keep the, keep the rapid fire going. Use your shard to dance around. And that is that. We knew that side was clear. We already prepared that. And we also know that this is clear here because we did that from up there. That was strategic. That way we didn't have to come out and deal with this at the ground level. All right, so. Always take out the monks first. If you can. All right. So our goal is to do our best to um, Make it through here without using any specialty arrows. Save those for the boss or for emergencies. Let's take a look and see what's in the... Because remember, I do have an open open quiver. Quiver, pestilence, wildfire, ricocheting. Nothing of any value. I got another blood. I do have the quiver, which I will probably... Since that's the case, I'll probably use these cat fives on uh, the orphan and uh, use the quiver to refill that since that's my lowest um, quantity of things. Now there's nothing in that hallway there, so we're going to skip right over here. Oftentimes there's an orphan here, but there's not today. We just... Oh, are you kidding me? All right, we'll go ahead and get this. I didn't think he was going to get close enough to hit me with that hatchet. Let's go ahead and buy this. And then we can always pick up the other ones in the back if we need to. Remember, we've got two back there. That was kind of lame on my part. Okay, so we have this really big 
room here. It's going to be a mix of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to try to take this black knight out without drawing too many other things. That way we can just deal with him. Just the knight and those a bombs, because I don't want I don't want monks coming after me just yet while I'm dealing with black knights. That's a regular cataclysm. I'm gonna take that. For my empty. Oh, hi. For my empty quiver, and we have a black monk. fire an arrow once I've finished him right on through and it'll pull anything that's in that far corridor specifically monks yeah that was kind of sneaky all right two, two brown monks here because we don't want to pull anything up there. All right. So. You. Quiver. Nice. And what we don't want to do is get hit by anything, but we also don't want our back to any, any openings. So put ourselves in the corner here. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to... That was just poor, slow decision making there that cost me that. Okay, what, what? Yeah, let's go back to the other zone of this. All right, yeah, so we're gonna, those two bloods are right there so they're easy enough to grab. And hopefully it will fill up our health One each. Okay. Did we have another one? Thought we had another one. Let's double check. I would rather pick all these up now. And then uh, refocus and try not to get hit by anything else. Okay, I think that was it probably. So, each one of those, we only got one health back. We're down one. We should not be down any. That is all my fault for letting things get too close to me and making slow decisions. Okay, moving on. No more of that. All right, we've dealt with this, we've dealt with that. Oh, there's a blood, that's nice. That will work. What I'm not going to do is pick that up just yet. Because it could pop two, and if it pops two, it will be wasteful because I've only got missing one health. All right, we got a black monk too. I'm just gonna let them come to us. Whew, did you see how fast that thing was? Barely had time to get my. Barely have time to get my uh, shield up from the time I saw him draw to the time it was hitting me. 
And that guy. Okay. Let's be careful. Hard to miss from a foot away. We also don't do as much damage, but we also know we don't miss. We also guarantee ourselves headshots. All right, so we got the ghosts. So we know where the pit is now. Let's finish this guy off. All right, two ghosts down. So when we go into the pit, remember, we have all these cataclysms to use. We have all these winter bites to use. That ghost will be coming through the wall in just a moment. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that is that. For this zone, let's go ahead and do the pit. We're down one health. Let's see what we got. Okay. Can't tell if that is a. Uh, I hear the. I hear the orphan already. Can't tell if that's a monk or a skeleton. Looks like a skeleton knight. So let's let's be clear. I think we're probably not going to get this this orphan. There's just too much too much going on right here. Curious. Though. Okay, sounds like she's farther down the hallway there. Now remember, we can use. See how much stuff I pull. I, I was just totally wasting cataclysms there. And to be honest, the fact that I took one hit is uh, surprising. So, such a bad move. I don't think we hear the orphan anymore. I think she's gone. So we took that one hit for nothing. In the meantime, I don't see skeleton archers. Which is a good thing. Which suggests to me we probably won't take any more damage if we're smart. We weren't smart dealing with the orphan. Oh, where'd you come from? Well, spoke too soon about not taking any more damage. Oh, that's nice. And good that he, he decided to pop up here. All right, we'll finish him off. So we may actually be able to recover from this pretty well. If we get two here, got one. Uh, maybe we'll, when we finish the pit, we'll get another. We're going to be a little more aggressive since we know we don't have skeleton archers. Keep our peripheral ready for that monk that's going to come through the stairs there. And we'll line of sight that incubus. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and pull the pull the ghost. main interest is recovering health at this point, so hopefully we'll see lots and lots of blood drop like we did early on. That would be really, really nice. Because it's going to be hard enough to deal with Anakin with full health. Much less, there's a skeleton knight there. We'll go ahead and pull him. Not worried about over pulling stuff because we can use our winner's bite in our cataclysm fairly fairly uh, liberally Man, he teleported and was attacking like immediately cycle six man high cycles you got to worry about that Pay attention. Okay, going up. Let's see what's in the tunnel. Okay, so I've got three skeletons. So, you know what? Not worth the risk. Okay, I think this ghost is done. Should, should have one there, but not. Burn this guy down. Let's start picking things off. Okay, so we've got a nearly night coming. We also have a white knight should be coming up these stairs right now. Okay. I don't want to I don't want to approach this part through the I like having more room to maneuver and I don't feel like I was gonna have a whole lot of room to maneuver. Going through that little tunnel there. I would rather see things coming from a long way like that and be able to deal with it. Because otherwise, oh man, I got that ghost from way over here. Because having this long hallway to deal with them at a distance is much, much better. Now, we may pull some stuff. Let's see what we got. We got an incubus. We got a ghost and a melee knight. I mean, I mean, a, I'm pulling stuff and running. So, I'm going to where I want to deal with them. And we have a safe space with lots of room to maneuver. This is where we're going to work from. And you see how he's got to come this long way. In the meantime, I can do some pretty substantial damage to him. So we know we got a ghost coming. Let's sort of play it cool because we don't want him sneaking up on us. Now, he may have he may have actually lost us. So let's go. Keep our ears open. A ghost. The incubus will let himself in here shortly. That's, uh, that's all we have. So we'll let the incubus come up here. We'll deal with him. And then we'll catch out.
get a knight there and a skeleton knight there as well. I'm trying to hit the skeleton knight, but I'll take the regular knight hit. He is, see that? He just charged this. Let's see if we can get a headshot here at a distance to score some points. Okay, let's see what's up here now. Nothing. We've pulled everything there, so really we only have this one room and that maybe that far hallway. You know, there's a skeleton knight. And that was all just face pulling. I don't think the regular knight saw us, so that's fine. We'll take this ghost and then we'll take him out. So I heard two things draw a sword. We also have the incubus, so we have two ghosts at least coming. So let's, uh, oh look, the blood, let's take that, only one, let's get these ghosts done, then we can worry about the incubus. Shit, excuse my language, but did not know he was coming, and he got me from the, from the flank. So, there's another... We're recovering health one at a time, and we're losing it two at a time. That is not that is not good management of our health. So. So at this point, there's a melee knight, a melee skelly. Okay, and that knight's down in the lava, so he's stuck. I heard two things pull swords. Okay, just now we've got ghosts coming. Oh, another. No, we had another skeleton knight coming. But we got the ghosts. So we cleared the pit. It was not without some bad play on my part. Pestilence I don't need. Um, I do need. Let's go with the uh, cat fives for now. Okay. All right. Well, back to the grind. We'll go to the last zone and then the cathedral. Hopefully, we'll be able to recover some health because that's bad. Kind of disappointed with that. <sighs> Let's remind ourselves what's in the shop. Pretty sure I have a quiver. Yeah, and that quiver is for the winner's bite. That was what we expected. All right. All right. Bloods of lambs would be amazing right now. Ricocheting needles, not so much. Here we got red, red mites now. that. Red knights with swords and shields are very, very dangerous. And we have black archers. Black monks. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and black knights. So, definitely very, very dangerous bads right now. Pulled that black monk, so I heard a heard a bow being drawn, so I needed to be careful that nothing was flanking in here. All right, well,
got her. Did not take any damage, but we're gonna run up here to where it's still a little safer. And let them create their own little death funnel here. All right, that was worth it. Did not take damage. Um, How many cats do I have left? Thirteen. And, um, you know what? I'm going to take that incursion and replace my cats with it at some point. Because incursion is really helpful on Anakin on cycle six. However, it sort of goes against what we're trying to accomplish with the snow globe because we don't want Anakin to take too much damage, but we can use the incursions when it comes time to burn him. So we won't use that right away. Okay, we've got three brown monks angry at us, now only two, now just one. Whew, that was close. All right, clear, black monk, Little line of sight that one. Shot from a distance, nice. Find sight, interesting. Interesting. So I'm going to use my cataclysms on the monks up here in the cathedral. Then I'm going to come back and get the incursion. So how we're going to approach Anakin, though, when we get to it, is we're going to hit him with a winner's bite. Then we're going to slow him down. Slow him down with Hand of God. And then we're going to let the Winner's Bite tick him down. And as monks spawn, we're going to kill them. We're going to try to like do that cycle as much as possible. What typically happens though is we'll pull the we'll pull the knights. And that's when things, and, and the A-bombs, that's when things get hairy. wanted that red knight gone 
A because he's shielded, B because he has a sword, and C because he's super duper fast. So we know we're going to get one health back from Anakin. So maybe we'll get another one there. Yes. Nice. Okay, we're going to run for a little bit. Just making sure we have everything line of sighted. Him, I'm just body shotting because I don't really feel like I could not, you know, uh, allow. I, I didn't really feel comfortable with allowing him in my, my flank. blood. We're going to get another blood from Anakin himself. So that's possibly four health. We could literally be only down one when we go to see Anakin. That would be super nice. But I think it's not likely based on the fortune I've had with double health bumps in this particular cycle so far. Alright, let's do it. We're down five. Only got one. That's no good. Okay. So I think that's all for the top side. Let's take a look around. Nope. So I think that's all for the top side. So let's finish up downstairs and then we'll discuss our Anakin strategy again. not very helpful. One thing you can do is you can, as long as you slow one of them down, they're all going to get kind of stuck on it right there on that corner there. And you can pitch on them all down if you can. Okay, well, here we go. We're down four health. Maybe we'll only be down two here. And I, I don't know how confident I feel about this. Oh, I've got two. Okay. Only down two. That's really fortunate. So, to summarize what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight down. I've already gone in here. I didn't go get my quiver for my winter's bite. That may be very costly. So, so we're going to jump down. We're going to hit him in the head with a winter's bite. I didn't get my incursions either. Oh, that was horrible, horrible arrow management. Alright, we're going to jump down. We're going to hit him with a winner's bite. If we don't hit shot him, fine, whatever. We'll just let that tick. And he'll start coming. We'll drop a uh, hand of God to slow him down at some point. We, uh, but again, we don't want to draw the knights. If we do, things get much, much more difficult. Then as the monks start to spawn we'll kill them and we'll just keep hitting him with winter's bite until we get to a point where we feel comfortable maybe half health and we can burn him from there but let's uh let's give it a shot i don't feel very confident right now i'll be honest with you okay he's aware that i'm here and i've hit him 
All right, monk, monk. Lots of monks coming awake. Knights are now awake. Okay. So we're going to hit Anakin again, and we're going to hit him with a hand of God. Now, the next batches of monks are going to pop up over here. I just got attacked by a red knight. Another red knight. Okay. So, we, one thing we don't want to do is get hit by... Uh-oh. I just took a hit. I just took another hit. This is me failing, by the way. We don't want to get hit by... Anakin's aura. Yeah, at this point, we're just sort of... At this point, we're just sort of expecting we're not going to make this. Where's Anakin? Okay, he's right there. Yeah, let's drop that on him. Let's do some... Cataclysm to the line of sight of those guys. I have one more winning fight. Let's do him. Okay, so what I want to do now is I, what I don't want to do is Yeah, I got I got caught. Okay. So a lot of fails on my part there. Uh, however, we did survive in a quiver. Let's do that for the cataclysm, and we'll. Why don't we do what design site for that? So we're down to two health. We did. Looks like about 280k is what we scored in that run. So that was two of those hits I took because I got stuck in that corner over there. But but. I will say, um, having the right arrows to burn Anakin down in cycle six is pretty tough. Uh, basically, I, what I would have had was cat fives, which I would have just totally burned him with cat fives. Uh, a winner's bite to the head, totally burned him with cat fives, and when those ran out, did wrath of God. So, um, I just demonstrated the snow globe method really badly to you. Um, my goal, personal goal, is to get past cycle seven, to, to get to cycle, no, past cycle seven. I top out at Anakin seven, and it's practicing this snow globe method, which is going to get us through that. Probably not going to make it to cycle seven with only two health remaining, but you never know. I've come back from, uh, like one health and filled my health bar again. It really, it really comes down to the random drops. So, there you have it, Purgatory 6. Really a pretty bad run from my perspective. Uh, but uh, it is in the books, and we will see you next week. And we'll try to recover in Paradise Lost, which it will be a challenge unto itself. All right, there you have it. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and happy hunting. We'll see you later.